decided to bring camera along on our vacation so that we can share our exciting shopping adventures with you guys. So why do we love Bangkok? Well, the cheap clothes, the cheap food, the cheap taxi, everything cheap cheap. Morning Pratana Market, which opens from like 5 to 7 a.m. It's 6 a.m. now, and you can see like you know there's tons of people going in and out because it's the wholesale period. So we're gonna buy everything at wholesale prices. So I'm really looking forward to this. Oh look, Jam, there's white shirts. You want your white shirts? I do want my white shirt. Oh my god! Watch out! How much? 100. We're modern bargaining, you know, right? Like bargain, what are you talking about? Oh, um, 80 baht, can? Oh, oh yeah, it's a wholesale market, you cannot bargain. Okay, a quick tip is that you should have change, well, small change, because you're usually their first customers early in the morning, and you won't have change for like your 500, 1000 dollars, which is what you're going to be getting for the money changer. The first thing that caught my eye in this shop was this dress. Oh, it's quite elegant, and the material is really good as well. Lots of colours. Oh, can't decide! Just get them all. No, I can't! Okay. You can, and you get three of the same thing. They give you a wholesale price. Oh, I buy three. How much? So I ended up buying three pieces of the same design but all of different colours because you know if I buy two it's like 400 if I buy three it's 480 so 80 baht extra is just like another three dollar thing. Guys I just found a really good deal. It's like, look at all these skirts. You can just choose three and they cost like 270 baht. Okay, so you know how people say they shop till the sun goes down? We shop till the sun came up. But, for the market, what we learned is that it's really very cheap. It's much cheaper. And it was like going to war because you go in and people are always pushing against you. No one here has a sense of mortality, so you gotta be prepared to push your way through. So, one thing that we wanna tell you is definitely bring a bottle of water. You're gonna find yourself dipping through it very, very often. Even up to 1,300 baht, you might get a little bit jaded because of the prices, but I mean, ultimately, in the end, you're getting like pretty good quality clothes. The tip I want to share with you guys is to bring a foldable recyclable bag because you're going to get like lots of plastic bags, and like at the end of the day, you're just going to leave them at the hotel room. So, what you do is that you just decline plastic bags, bring this bag, and you know, you feel very satisfied once you fill it up. Now we're at the accessories level. Does this here look promising? Very good quality. But of course, you know, the quality like comes the price. So today we actually came here with the hopes of like bargaining, but mm. unfortunately we got shot down all the time. Okay, not all the time, but we have like 10, 20 baht concessions but not much. We got a lot of bargaining tips that we wanted to try out. Firstly was that, you know, we told them we give, we shove the money in their faces like, hey, this is all I got. Alright, you take it or leave it. But then they chased us out. <laughs> maybe we just don't look like... We don't look fierce enough. Yeah, maybe. But I don't know. Cut it down now. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Uh, we've been shopping since 5am. That means we've been shopping for 11 hours straight. And uh, these are the spoils of our day. It's only 4pm and we've busted our budget for the day. <laughs> you sound so happy to say <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm super happy because you know what that means? It means that we got so many clothes! We counted and I have like, I have 28 pieces. She has 37. So I have to work pretty hard to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just take a nap. And then we're gonna go ahead to Asia Take Night. 
if you want to go to Asia, take a tip with Public Cab because apparently it takes you an hour and costs you about 200 baht. But if you take um, the train and then transfer and then take a free boat, it's like 30 baht. 30 baht mm, in total. And it takes you like half an hour. Half an hour? Less than that. We're now at Asiatik, uh, which is famous for being a night mall. There's supposed to be a pretty extensive like women's and men's fashion department, as well as jewelry and accessories. Yeah, the shops here look pretty atas, which is like high fashion. They look like they cost quite a bit. Like a new easy. So let's go into one of them to bring them out. There's a shop called like Favor over here. And it has like, you know, unisex clothes. So I think that'd be great. That is cute. <laughs> This shop has a very Antoinette feel. Okay, so far we've visited like concept stores. Uh, now we're gonna enter like a booth like uh, clothing market. So hopefully the prices like you know come down by a bit more. Ooh, look at this! Very classy. The material is really good as well. Let me ask how much it is. Six hundred. Can try. I guess. The riverfront is better than platinum and like platinum in the sense that they let you try the clothes. So what do you think? Should I buy it? It's a no from me actually. Why? Uh, because it makes you look too old. Yeah. One thing about Asian is that they actually have a lot of men's and kids fashion. Like kids and men. And they really do have quite a bit. Okay, so we are done with Asian Tick and we didn't buy anything because the prices are kind of high compared to Platinum and Pratunam. But as you can see, there are like tons of like food eating establishments around. So, I mean, it's worth coming for the experience. Today, we are going to Union Mall, Terminal 21, and Siam Square. 180 we buy. I'm gonna have to buy sale. I will actually buy it. Really cheap, really cheap sale. Okay, okay, I, I buy, I buy. <laughs> <laughs> really cheap. You can't even show me. <laughs>